Welcome back to another RC Wars video. Today we're going to talk about how to locate a septic tank, give you a few uh, different methods on how to do so. So let's get started. Okay, so the first method we're going to talk about is the easiest and uh, usually the most reliable. Um, it's, use, it's just basically using your eyes. Uh, so take a look around the property, see if you can figure out any riser lids that are uh, to grade. It's pretty common for risers to actually come all the way to grade and, and not be buried. Uh, but it is also common if it's in the middle of your yard to have a few inches of sod over top of it. So uh, first thing, just take a look around and some things that you can do while you're looking around is uh, look for areas that the grass doesn't grow very well or it grows really well uh, better than other areas. So we can see over here that we've actually got a couple of lids uh, popping up out of the ground. So obviously this tank has risers on it. So it was actually pretty easy to find this tank in this situation. But if your uh, risers don't go all the way to grade, well, then you're going to have to start looking elsewhere. So the next thing that you're going to want to take a look at is uh, the cleanouts. If you've got a cleanout, so let's take a look at the cleanout. Okay, so we've got the sewer cleanout located right here. Obviously, what that's used is uh, for trying to find obstructions or to clear obstructions. Um, and typically, if you've got a cleanout, it's going to be a straight shot away from the house to actually get into the tank. So that's where we've got the tank in relation to the clean out on this property is just a straight shot out from the house. It goes into the tank somewhere down here and then uh, we've got the lids right there. The next thing that you can look for is actually the vents on the roof of a house. Typically the sewer well, the sewer is going to vent through the pipe that the, that the fluid actually comes in on. So it's going to use the home vent system. So typically with the plumbing uh, in the house, it's going to be somewhat lined up. So let's see if we can get a shot of the roof vent just to show you that that's lined up a little bit. So you can see that the roof vents in the, on this house actually um, somewhat line up with the, uh, the discharge or where our, where our uh, clean out was, which went into the tank. So that kind of helps us to narrow down where it could be. So the next one that we're going to talk about, this is what they call is a soil probe or a tile probe. And this is actually just a pointy metal rod with handles that you shove down into the ground until you hit something hard. So we're actually standing in between the two risers right now. So we're hitting the septic tank. You know, you've hit something once it stops going into the ground. Um, it is important, we got a helicopter going overhead, so let's wait just a second. Okay, so like I was saying before the helicopter flew by, uh, it is important if you're gonna start digging or probing the soil that you do a call before you dig uh, so they can come mark out any electrical lines or what have you so you don't uh, potentially cause some serious damage. Um, so just keep that in mind. And these, uh, these probes actually come in various lengths. You can get you know, a couple feet all the way up to like six, eight feet so depending on how deep you expect your tank to be, um, you know, you can get longer probes as needed. I think this one's probably uh, about a four and a half inch probe and the tank's only about a foot down, or four and a half foot probe, uh, and the tank's only about a foot below the surface right here. Um, so this is a pretty good method. This is almost any one of your rooter guys um, is gonna have one of these. This is like the bread and butter method when you don't have the risers coming up to grade like this situation. Um, so on to the next one. Okay, so the next method is uh, using Google Earth. That's actually a pretty reliable method. You'd be surprised. The cool thing about Google Earth, uh, and we can't show this one because I think there's copyright issues with showing that, um, but on a monetized video. Anyways, um, Google Earth allows you to change the date so you can go back as far as I think 20 years um, and look at a property and usually you're going to be able to see an area that would have been where the septic tank was installed. It's actually surprising. Um, you know, if you were to watch this video, I recommend go to Google Earth, look at your own house if you've got a septic tank, uh, and just see if you can figure out where it's at um, just by looking at the different time periods and, you know, looking around your house. So it's a pretty nifty tool. Okay, so lastly, there's a number of methods out on the market that actually allow you 
to uh, utilize some technology to identify where your septic tank is at. Uh, there are such products that allow you to flush a radio transmitter uh, down the toilet. Uh, and then they can use a sensing device to locate where that transmitter's at. It kind of just beeps as you get closer to it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, another thing that they do is I've seen they'll do, um, one, they can do a camera if they know where the clean out is, uh, but two, they also have used like a, a, a mildly radioactive uh, dye that they put down in, the, in a toilet or something, and then they can trace that to the tank, and then they could also trace that to the drain field if they needed to get a better idea of the layout of the drain field for you know, maybe construction reasons or something like that. Uh, but keep in mind if you were one of the poor souls who had to spend a ton of time, effort, and maybe even money trying to identify where your tank is at, and uh, you might be surprised in five years you might forget where it's at all over again. So I recommend you go to rcworks.com, make sure you get, uh, check out some of our risers. We have all kinds of great risers uh, in, in all the common sizes and our, our risers are far superior to a lot of products out there because they're durable, they're gonna last forever. Uh, they've got great lids, 2,000 pound load rating, so very safe. Um, and you're no longer gonna have to lift that heavy lid off of your tank anymore, that concrete lid. You can replace it with one of our fiberglass lids. And then one of the biggest benefits to using our riser system, if it's installed correctly, you're gonna actually prevent a lot of water infiltration into the tank, which is water getting into the tank from the surrounding soil. Typically like heavy rains and things like that are gonna allow water into a tank that's not properly sealed so if you're going to a drain field you could potentially be overloading it during the more wet times of the year uh, which can lead to some premature failure issues so it's a good level of protection that also helps to make servicing your system a lot easier as well as identifying where your system is at so thanks for joining us just a quick video for you today don't forget to like and subscribe we'll catch you next time